Hello, Scorpio. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your monthly tarot reading for July 2023. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you happen to be new to my channel, welcome. And please take a moment and subscribe and help support my channel. All right, Scorpio, as always, take what resonates, leave the rest. So let's just jump in and take a look at your cards for this month. First week, Major Arcana card, Strength. Second week, Major Arcana card, The Fool. Third week, Six of Wands. And the last week of July, Major Arcana card, The Empress. Very nice, Scorpio. Wow. Well, first message that my guides are giving me is to hang in there. Things might look like they're not going to work out, possibly uh, for some of you. But you've got several um, opportunities, surprise events, things happening this month of July that are going to be very advantageous for you. It is a general reading, so this could represent relationships, maybe something that affects your family. It could be in regards to where you're living, real estate. It could be in regards to your job, your career. Very fresh, positive energy coming in. So I feel, Scorpio, you're going to have a wonderful month of July where everything will kind of end up working out for you. But... You do have to keep in mind, Scorpio, that free will plays a part as to what the cards are indicating for you. Now, you do have three major arcana cards, and that could be indicating a lot of possibly sudden changes, very important life events or mile marker events, things of that nature, things that you're going to look back and remember, that's when everything changed. And this is certainly positive energy here. So starting off with your first week of July, you do have the Major Arcana card, Strength. Certainly a card indicating to um, dig your heels in. Especially if things seem like they're not going to go in your favor, you really need to persevere. Strength card is in regards to just knowing that things are going to work out. And as we see on the card, this angel here is taming the beast. And the beast in this circumstance could actually be you, Scorpio. You might be convincing yourself that things are not going to work out. Things aren't going to go in your favor. So it is about, you know, really reaching deep down for that inner strength to persevere. There is opportunities, success, abundance. And this eight numerology of this card represents abundance. You have to hang in there, Scorpio. So this certainly could be any number of things. It is whatever your focus is on right now. And in this first week, there might be something that's not exactly going the way that you want it to. You need to hang in there, not lose faith, because the cards are indicating a change of direction, something happening. This could be surprise events, unexpected things coming in. Clarifying card for strength. You have the Nine of Wands. Well, Nine of Wands is kind of basing uh, what you're feeling, your mindset, your expectation on your past experiences. And that's only human. You know, all these eight wands here in the background are things that you've gone through. So this could be relationships. If you're looking for love, this could be like past jobs where possibly uh, maybe you lost some jobs or you moved on from some jobs or some jobs weren't working out. This certainly could represent events that took place in your life so far. And this Nine of Wands is kind of a card of a review and you're thinking about things based on what um, you've been through, what has happened before. And that's where the Strength card, you have to keep the faith, you have to keep going. Be sure not to give up based on what you went through, what has been maybe recently happening. There's definitely here a change of events coming up in July, but keep in mind, free will can change the course of what these cards are showing. 
And with this Nine of Wands, be careful of the Law of Attraction because if you're expecting the worst, that is exactly the energy that comes to you. So let this new wand that he's leaning on, let this be the new one that's going to be planted firmly in place with the remaining. Let it be something new, fresh, positive energy. So as you get into, you know, the first week of July, take note of what your mindset is. What are you thinking about? Don't let that law of attraction bring the same kind of energy as I feel, Scorpio, you know, you're trying to rid yourself of. Okay, tea leaf card message for the first week. You have boat, money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall. Now this boat is actually sailing through calm waters. The sun is shining, all is easy going, tranquil, serene. So it certainly is a message indicating you could receive property, money, goods, through an inheritance, a windfall, winnings, any number of ways that will instantly bring a sudden change. And that is certainly what your cards are indicating. There's some kind of sudden change that could be coming in, some kind of event, could be in regards to relationships, your job, your family, your home. But the key here is a positive mindset and perseverance in this first week. So I really like the boat card coming in. It is indicating um, what is going to be coming down the line for you. Now, going into the second week, you have the Major Arcana card, The Fool. And this is kind of making a decision to head off in a new direction. So the Fool card could represent a new relationship, a new home, a new job, a new idea, a new desire. It's going to be different for each and every Scorpio, but you're realizing at this point and it certainly can be whatever the boat card is representing. This could be property, money coming in, maybe in, un in like an unusual way or an unusual form where it's going to prompt you, you know, to go in a new direction. This could certainly be like a job opportunity that somebody just gives you like a proposition, maybe not even uh, something you were looking for, but a um, proposition comes your way, a proposal where you might be moving cross country, moving house, moving your family, you know, really taking that leap of faith so that you live in a better place. You're working with a better company. This could be brought on by all sorts of circumstances. Certainly could be blessings in disguise where in the first week or I'm picking up like the tail end of June, possibly for some Scorpios, you might be out of a job. But with the strength card, in the first week, it's telling you to persevere, to stay optimistic. And then something can be coming in in this second week of July for you where you get a fresh start. It is certainly a clean slate. Clarifying card for the Fool. And you have the Five of Swords. Boy, Scorpio, you are really going to be digging your heels in on this one. Exactly, you know, what the strength card is all about. Hang in there. Something is coming in. And the five of swords, it's something where um, there might be an initial challenge attached to it, whatever this may be. But after that, you are certainly going to be absolutely fine. Sorry, I hit the camera. So this is really a clarifying card of winning at all costs. So you could decide to take a job that's across country, moving your family, whoever you reside with, selling your, your home, you know, moving to a new place, a new company, certainly just taking that leap of faith. This five numerology with the clarifying card is something that definitely shakes things up. It kind of gets you out of your comfort zone, Scorpio. Definitely can put you in a mood, you know, where you have the full card, where you're just going to go for it. All right, tea leaf card for this week. Wow. <laughs> Excellent, Scorpio. Handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. I think so. <laughs> I do feel um, it. it's something that... Um, 
you're like joining forces with some someone, like some kind of opportunity. Could be maybe purchasing a home that you have a final handshake. It's like making the deal. Could be a new job. It represents someone that could be bringing in uh, like a new opportunity or news, something that's going to be very important in regards to your life. And the fact that, you know, one hand is coming from the sky, the other one is um, from the earth. This is almost like divine blessings coming in, something that is completely unexpected. And both your cards, you know, talk about, um, you know, your card here, your tea leaf card message talks about um, inheritance, windfalls, money coming in, could be investments paying off, could be a lucky ticket where you win some money or sweepstakes that you forgot you entered, something of that nature could be what's setting you off on a new course. And I just see you really digging your heels in because there's no way you're going to let this opportunity, what's happening to you, pass you by or go to someone else. Now, the third week here, you have the Six of Wands. Beautiful card in energy. This is success, triumph, whatever it is that possibly, you know, the handshake card indicated. And since it's right next to, you know, the boat card, they could be hand in hand, so to speak. No pun intended here. But with these two cards side by side, definitely something, um, you know, the energy coming in, opportunity, money, investment, could be any number of things. And by the third week, you're, in, you're realizing you're in a position of advantage. You're being recognized as, you know, being successful. Possibly for some of you, I am picking up uh, some kind of job where maybe you're getting a promotion or maybe a new job um, with a company, maybe where you're in a higher position, possibly making more money, better benefits, and you might be moving across country in order to take this job, just taking that leap of faith. So definitely with the Six of Wands, this is something where people are looking at what you have to, you know, what you have to offer, like your gifts and talents. They're being inspired by you. Could be in some kind of position where like you're training others, really a role model. That is the energy here. So this could be something um, completely new. I feel for some of you, this could be something that's popping up unexpectedly, uh, maybe within the company possibly the, um, the company you work for, but it could also be success in other ways. But the strongest thing that I'm picking up is possibly, you know, money, your job, something of that nature coming in, something that's going to be very solid. You know, you've got the six numerology, so something that is solid. I feel you're very protective of whatever this is as you've worked hard for it. You deserve this is what my, my guides are indicating. So clarifying card, the five of wands. So we're seeing you're successful in regards to, um, you know, uh, here with the six of wands. And the five of wands represents competition. This is making a name for yourself. This is overcoming obstacles. Whatever was going on like here as you entered into the, the beginning of the month, you're overcoming like the obstacles and you're very successful here by the third week. Again, you know, you've got five energy here. So there is uh, some bit of a challenge to it. But Scorpio, you are so up to this as you really don't view it as a challenge because you're just like full steam ahead is what I'm picking up. Now, tea leaf card message. Turkey, someone is behaving stupidly. Mm, wow, first thing I'm picking up is jealousy. There's somebody around you, maybe uh, even more than just one. And it might have something to do with, you know, this five of wands card, this energy, this group, because I feel there was competition possibly competitive circumstances in order for you to be successful here. And someone, 
Someone's jealous around you and they are behaving in a very immature manner and they can't help themselves. So that certainly could be in the job market with an existing company. If you're getting a promotion from within, definitely could be that. Or it could be um, whoever knows of this success, whatever this success involves. It could be money. It could be finding the right house, being able to sell your existing house. There's something here where you've got success. Things are going your way, Scorpio, and somebody around you is very jealous of that. But I feel that you're coming off of like a very difficult time as you're coming into this month of July. And so this is certainly the harvest for you. This month of July, you're reaping the benefits. All right, last week here, you have the Major Arcana card, Empress. Fantastic. This is very fertile energy. This is, if you're looking for love, you're finding it. If you're looking for a job, you're finding it. If you're wanting investments to pay off, they are. And your luck is absolutely overwhelming. It's also an indication, time to create something new. So I do feel this is somewhat ties into, you know, your fool card. You're going off in a new direction with a new desire, maybe a new lifestyle, a new home, a new family. You know, like a relationship, building something for your future, Scorpio. Something that's very solid. That's why the turkey card's coming out. People are jealous around you. Um, and for some, for some of you, this is really odd. This is just popping up, Scorpio. For those of you that are near retirement, people are jealous that you're going to be able to retire. So that was one message coming through for maybe a, one Scorpio out there. So the empress is like the best conditions to uh, create what it is you want. If it's financial security, physical security, emotional security, you know, you're talking about physical security. You want a nice place to live. Emotional security could be someone that you could spend your life with, start a family with. And, you know, financial security, certainly um, so you can pay your bills. You have um, a job, something you love to do. So definitely new beginnings here with this three numerology. So new love, new job, new money coming in, new lifestyle. So let's look at your clarifying card for this. Major Arcana card, the magician. It is whatever you manifest for yourself. This has all got to do with hanging in there with the strength card. The full card is you taking the first steps, having something work out in your favor, being successful, abundance. And by the end of July, it's something that you're creating for yourself. You're manifesting for yourself. You've got an idea. You've got a plan. You're taking action. And the cards are indicating. They're all indicating things are working out in your favor. Almost in a tenfold way, Scorpio. This is a lot of change, a lot of transformation, very much uncertain energy. So don't let this nine of wands here have you miss opportunities. That's the key to the whole month, Scorpio. You need to just take, you know, that leap of faith with whatever comes your way. And it looks like, you know, with the handshake card, there's some kind of agreement or, you know, something shaking hands on a deal, whether it be in regards to real estate, investments, a job, some kind of deal, document, proposal, something, you know, where you find yourself shaking hands with someone. Tea leaf card message. You have carrot. It says opportunity or windfall. There's that word again, windfall. This is extremely good luck with this card turning up for you, Scorpio. Represents an opportunity, a windfall that will be given to you. And with this card, it's indicating with little or no effort on your part. Wow. So for some Scorpios, actually um, just you persevering, hanging in there. Even if you have like a circumstance, uh, let's say... Um, there's actually two things that are coming to my mind. So 
Uh, first, uh, maybe like if you're interviewing for a job and somebody else gets it, they get picked for it. Don't necessarily believe that it's over. Something will fall through with whoever they picked and then you're like the runner up. And the same could be said for like wanting to buy a specific house and somebody get, gets a bid in before you. Something might fall through is what I am picking up. It's that kind of energy. So don't give up. Hang in there. And then, like, in regards to the house, you would be the next person in line for it. So I do feel very much this don't give up whatever is happening, you know, during this month of July is at the very end here. You are the one that is coming out on top. Thank you so much. For joining me today, please remember to subscribe, help support my channel, love and abundance to my Scorpio family.